I came here to coach the linebackers and do whatever I can to help this team win. So obviously I'll have suggestions. I'll make something and they can use them or not use them. I think everybody has an opinion of how things should be done. I think we did a great job this offseason simplifying things for our players so they have a better understanding. And uh, I thought Shane's done a great job along with Mike and Jim of, you know, us kind of uh, handling it in the right way, if, if that makes sense. How do you feel he's progressed just in the time that, that you've seen him as a coach? How do you feel he's, he's kind of grown? Well, you know what? It, it's hard for me because last year was one of those odd years. I, went, I wasn't even here in the offseason. I was in Florida 90% of the time and then came in for training camp, met the players at training camp, um, didn't have, uh, you know, you, you're kind of learning the system on, on the Internet, or however you want to say it, on Zoom. So yeah. this year I think it's so much easier. It's so much better with we'll the players. I think there's a greater understanding of what Shane's looking for, what Mike's looking for from the players. And, um, you know, I'm excited about the season, I'm excited about the players I'm, I'm with. Thanks a lot, Coach Ash. You're welcome. Ben Arthur. Hey, Coach, what have, what have you seen from, uh, you know, the young rook, Monty Rice, and then just, um, you know, how, how you've seen, you know, Rashawn Evans' you know, kind of response to, you know, potential competition, what I've seen is, him actually helping, you know, Monty out a lot. Just, you know, yeah, just what have you seen from Monty and then how Rashawn has kind of embraced his presence in that inside linebacker room? Well, the reason Monty's here is because he loves football. I mean, that's the number one reason. He loves football. He likes practice. Um, he's into it. Uh, Rashawn has taken the challenge, I think, of, you know, drafting a player that plays at the same position, but he's also helped – Monty, I, they talk all the time. Uh, he was excited the other day. Monty made a play in the goal line, and Rashawn got excited. I think Rashawn's had a great offseason. You know, I know he hasn't been here that long, uh, but we've done meetings on the, you know, over Zoom and different things, and um, I think he's excited about the upcoming season uh, along with the rest of them. Jim Wyatt. And coach, uh, I guess Monty, what, what what made him successful at Georgia, and what are some of the things that that could make him successful here from a from a skill standpoint? The skill because he's he's tough as nails. He's really good versus the run. Um, I think that's what he did best at Georgia. Uh, you know, he 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 had a great understanding of, of the defense. Uh, he's he puts work into into his uh, his preparation for practice and meetings. He called. We talk all the time. And um, I see nothing but upside uh, for Monty as we go. And one on Jayon. I mean, no, nobody likes to be hurt, but, uh, you know, we talked to him a week or so ago just about how tough it was to, to, to miss the end of last season. It made him even hungrier for this year. What, what was it like for him? I mean, did you see him much during the course of last year after he got hurt, and, and how much did it bother him not being out there, you think? You know, I saw him every day. He would come in. He'd come in the meetings and sit in our meeting. And you could tell he didn't want to be in there uh, just because it was killing him not playing. But it's amazing from a coach's perspective when he comes back and you think, boy, we missed him, you know, <laughs> when he's not around. But uh, because he can do so many different things for you, he's got great cover skills. He's really smart. Uh, he, he, he helps everybody get lined up. And uh, it, it, it's good to have him back. And we just got to keep him healthy and expect big things from him. And what's to say about Jayon? I mean, uh, a lot of times when guys go on our out, they, they disappear. They work on the rehab. It's just too painful for them to come to meetings. The fact that he was wanting to be involved probably communicated with teammates during that time. What's to say about him? Well, it, it, it says a lot about him because he's another one who loves the game. He loves football. He likes being around everybody. Uh, he comes in, he asks questions. If he doesn't know, he'll call me uh, at nighttime and we'll talk it over and uh, I know he's studying. I know he pays attention. I know he looks ahead uh, just from, you know, you go on, you go on the, uh, the, the site and you can see that. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm fired up about him and Rashawn and, and really all of them. You know, Monty, David, David's had a great off season. You know, I'm fired up about all of them. We just got to keep him healthy and get ready to go. Thank you, Coach. John Glennon. 
Hey, Jim, uh, I hope you have uh, time for maybe a couple quick ones here. Um, okay. One is sort of a, uh, a general question. Uh, how much different is this offseason uh, for, for you, uh, assistant coaches, you know, as opposed to having only Zooms uh, last year because of COVID? How much of a relief and, and how much of a change is it to get back to kind of, you know, coaching guys in person again? Well, a couple things. I'm around the other coaches, which didn't happen last year. Uh, so if you had any questions about what the, what we were doing schematically or anything, you had to call or you had to get a hold of somebody to try to find out all the answers. So that wasn't really beneficial to new coaches coming in. Uh, two, you're just not around the players, you know, to get a feel for how they learn and, you know, what, what takes them to the next level. And, uh, you know, when, like I said, I was, I was in Florida most of the time and doing zoom meetings and we would meet as a staff and then go on meet with the players. And it's, it's just not the same. Uh, you can't get answers, answers sometimes and the players don't get exactly what they want. And I think the hands-on approach so far this year, this up to this season so far has been, it's been great for me. It's been fun. It's been outstanding. And I, you know, I like being around the guys, obviously, and, you can get things done. You can walk out and we're going to do walk through today together. And there, there's a lot of good things about being together. Great. And then, uh, yeah, just the other, I, I came in just at the end when you were talking about Jay on, but his role as kind of the play caller on the field, uh, how important is that? And, and, you know, how can he uh, progress in, in that uh, department? Yeah. Jay on does a lot of, a lot of good stuff for us. I mean, he's really got great cover skills and he's good on the run. He's smart. Uh, he can help other people out and uh, you don't know what you're missing until, you know, until he, he's gone for a while, but, you know, we're excited about having him back. Uh, I'm excited about the things he can do. And I know he's fired up for the season. Oh, all these guys are really excited about, you know, get to get going and, um, you know, I'm, I'm fired up for the work with him.